house here at Bright House Network Stadium, where this Friday the UCF Knights will take on the Tulsa Golden Hurricanes at 8 p.m. on ESPN2. Tulsa probably has the most tradition of anybody in the conference when you look at the history of Tulsa. And, you know, I think championships, and we haven't done fared well against them. The game against Tulsa is big for UCF seniors, as none of the senior class has ever won a game against the Golden Hurricanes, and will look to make that change this Friday. Uh, this, as I said to the seniors, answer your question, that basically, uh, you know, we haven't beaten them in four games. And that, that's basically uh, something I discussed with the kids this week and stuff that, you know, we got to get done. We lost it twice in the one year to them, we won, once for the championship. So uh, it's something that they have, and you like to see them get that off their record before they graduate. Head coach George O'Leary praised Tulsa's offense, including their dynamic wide receiving duo and their quarterback, Dane Evans. Tulsa, I think, runs the ball, throws the ball well, probably has two of the better receivers in the conference as far as what, uh, what I see, two Lucas and one uh, Garrison. I think they're very, very good, plus a quarterback that keeps the ball alive. But, you know, and I, I think he's very tricky, he can run it, can throw it. Including this week's game against Tulsa, UCF has two home games remaining before they hit the road for the final two road games of the season. And Coach O'Leary is praising that this is a playoff atmosphere every game for the team. You know, you talk about that it's, we have a four-game playoff. That's what you have. And, you know, you got one at a time, and that determines what you're doing. So it really doesn't make any difference what you've done before this weekend because you got a four-game slate that you got to do well in if you want to reach the goal the team set. That's what you got to do. The Knights will take on the Golden Hurricanes Friday at 8 p.m. with the game being shown on ESPN2. With the Valencia Voice, this has been Danny Morales reporting live from Bright House Network Stadium.